Good morning, Pisces. Welcome back to Will's Cartomancy Tarot. Um, this morning, what I'd like to do is to give you a relationship reading, and I'll be using my Tarot of the Dead card. Okay? And just save down on some time. I've already shuffled the deck and presented the cards as we see here. Okay? So prior to getting into your reading, well, I like to make a few general observations. Okay? We see that you have a predominance of major Arcania cards here. Um, and this would suggest to me, Pisces, that you know, there are major issues present. And it's really time for the head and not the heart and really to really apply the reality principle. Okay? And since you have um, two wands here, or, um, or if you will, two pens here, um, in your reading that was show that your world is kind of full of movement and that you can kind of focus on a particular goal or find a new solution to an old problem if you're able to do this you it says that you're going to certainly achieve happiness and fulfillment and it's a time to kind of act independently Pisces and to kind of concentrate on personal goals also you have a, a couple of uh, reels here or coins in your reading and this will suggest that, you know, more than likely you have been working on long-term goals and perhaps have faced many setbacks. You know, these cards offer hope that all your efforts are soon to bear fruit if you persist. Okay, let's look at a few other combinations here. We have the uh, Three of Coffins connected with... Um, the three of coins here in your reading. So this shows the potential perhaps for a marriage proposal that may be coming up for you guys. Okay. We also again have the three of reels. And we have the uh, we have combined that with the emperor. Okay. And the temperance. And this represents perhaps a possible medical consultation that I'm kind of getting. Okay. We also have the Ace of Pens, okay, and we connect that card to the Tower card, okay. That shows uh, Pisces a possible explosion of some sort or a possible fire or explosion, so be kind of careful, okay. Um, we also have Temperance, okay, combined with the Emperor. Okay, and that again, it looks like it suggests some type of medication or medicine in some sense. Okay, we also have temperance again, and if I combine that with the ace of pins, uh, that shows verbal exchanges with you and perhaps a past lover. Okay, uh, let's look at a few other interesting things. I see a few timing conjunctions here. So, always remember um, Pisces that the tarot can be used to kind of time certain events in life that may occur when certain you know, cards, you know, in the minor arcania you, uh, appears before or after a card from the major arcania. So, with that said, let's examine a few conjunctions here. We have the emperor here appearing before um, the nine here uh, pentacle. So that suggests that, you know, it's a major conjunction has occurred. So this indicates that the major event has already perhaps appeared in your life, um, Pisces, and the influences of this card, you know, the emperor, okay, has impacted you. So since this indicates an end of a cycle, it would suggest that during this time, you're likely to experience significant events relating perhaps to money or material possessions, um, and you may feel that your life is perhaps at an impasse because nothing is right, yet nothing is wrong either. So additionally, since, you know, I see that the tower appears before uh, this three here in this reading, this notes that during, uh, uh, the, during the time between now and the upcoming three months, you're going to be preparing for perhaps awards and recognition. And success is likely, but you're going to need to persevere and, and perhaps develop your skills in order to kind of assure a positive outcome. So we also have the two also pins appearing before temperance. So this suggests that a minor conjunction has occurred. So this will denote that an event is likely to occur perhaps within two days that may concern business partnership or creative endeavors. 
So now, having said that, let's get right along into your reading. Let's look at your bottom card. Okay, we have the Knight of Reels here. So that refers to maybe some concern that you have about a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. And this card, Pisces, indicates a very practical outlook and a solid basis from which to kind of build the relationship. This card is suggesting that you may have to be more patient than you feel and wait for the other person really to fully open him or herself up to you. You know, his or her approach may sometimes annoy you, yet he or she kind of completes a part of you that it looks like is lacking. You know, so this card therefore says, uh, Pisces, that you're going to be troubled by insecurity and perhaps the fear of failure or be upset because of a business partner or even an associate who doesn't support you or could or who is maybe, you know, cold or indifferent toward you or your goals. It says that you're going to experience apprehension or perhaps disquiet over a schedule because you're going to feel like it's going to wipe out your chances for a relationship and or you will intuitively sense that which is to come. I feel that you're going to seriously uh, be considering a marriage or a union in all of its ramifications because love is going to be most important and all-consuming thing, you know, in life for you because it's all you want and all you really think about. And it looks like you won't want to work or do anything else because it's going to be such an all-consuming emotion. Let's move right along and look at the central issue of your relationship, okay? We have the emperor there. So, of course, we know the Emperor refers to an Aries-type temperament. So, this card indicates passionate energy, um, Pisces, and drive that brings new levels of activities to the relationship. It can also signify domination by one person over another in a negative manner. It says that you're going to be troubled by plotting work or a sordid relationship or perhaps an extramarital affair. And you're going to be disappointed in a partnership that perhaps looked as if it was carved in granite, but turned into sand. You know, however, you're going to be thinking about that, you know, the one that you love and you're going to want to be with him or her again. And he or she, it looks like it's certainly going to be thinking the same about you. And I feel that when you hear from him or her, you're going to make plans to get together. And I see you whining or dining him or her, or it's going to be vice versa. It's going to be either or with that. Okay. Let's move right along and look at your next card just to examine how you're, you know, how you really see your lover here. Okay, and we have the six of reels here. Okay, so I'm sorry, the nine of reels actually. Okay, so with this card, Venus is in Virgo. Okay, so this card is all about perpetuous moments, you know. And with that said, you kind of see your lover as independent, you know, self-sufficient, and as perhaps a stroke of luck. You know, if he or she has yet to do so, he or she will certainly, I feel, try to win you over soon. I feel that you're going to want to find your happiness or make the best of this opportunity and count on this moment being the right one. This card kind of asks you to realize that you are in a lucky phase and that this moment you know, it's kind of urging you to kind of inject the relationship with an enriching, you know, stimulus Pisces or to kind of change it for the better. You know, how about surprising your partner with an original proposition? Or if the relationship is going through difficult times, use this propitious moment to kind of inject new positive energy into it. Okay, let's move right along and see, you know, how your lover or he or she sees you. Okay. And we have the two of reels there. So with that card, Mars is in Aries. So this shows that your partner has a larger vision in mind that you or those around you. You know, it may be um, time for him or her to kind of share his or her big picture with those closest to him or, or her so that he or she can kind of help it become reality, uh, Pisces. So with that said, your partner kind of sees you as a half-hearted type person who always really takes time for making decisions, perhaps too long. You know, he or she can only count on lukewarm intentions from you. You know, he or she sees you in a relationship as current. currently, it looks like maybe lacking energy and suspense. Okay? Let's look at card number four and look at some unknown influences of your relationship. 
We have the Temperance card that falls there. So Temperance denotes or refers to Sagittarius. So this card indicates, you know, really a perfect blending of what may appear to be opposite temperaments. You can indicate the idea relationship where, you know, two personalities kind of come together and create a harmonious union. So temper is also symbolizing really the need to kind of adjust to another person's way of communicating. Therefore, Pisces, this card is suggesting that you are going to have an unexpected call or encounter from this lover. You know, it looks like, as I suggested, someone you were attracted to or involved with in the past who looks like they return as if to have or have a last go around or really close that chapter in your life for good. This card is suggesting that many arms from seen or unexpected events are going to come up, but these events or elements will chemicalize. They're going to neutralize or kind of transform situations all with a positive end in view. So what you're experiencing, Pisces, is a clash between the old and the new. It looks like a chemical reaction in mind, body, and affairs caused by a reaction to a new action. So there is nothing to fear. It's only part of the process. And without this, Pisces, change could certainly not occur. So work on yourself and don't be afraid to kind of air your fears or let your demons surface. Confront them head on. And if you need verification or more understanding, ask for it. Okay. So let's move right along and look at where, you know, you kind of want your relationship um, to kind of go from here. Okay. And we have the three of cups uh, that's fallen in the position, this position or either the three of coffins, you know, uh, in this reading. Um, so you want to kind of take this relationship to the next level, even to the point of marriage. And you need to be loved and nurtured and you're going to kind of want to be loving, but you need to kind of feel that you are loved and fulfilled first. So this card is kind of saying that a new beginning will bring happiness and problems are going to kind of be a, you know, a thing of the past for you. OK, when you see that card, you know, in your reading, let's move right along and see, you know, who or what Pisces can help you with your relationship. But we have the ace of pens here. So uh, or either the ace of wands. Um, this card is suggesting that, you know, you're going to be surprised, it looks like. It's going to be a must-go trip that's going to crop up for you or good news in a card or letter and a sudden flirtation or romantic invitation. You are gonna, you can really expect a happy union, and I'm feeling that even if you had problems in the past, tensions or misunderstandings are going to be resolved. So this card is saying that you've got to kind of make a move or take the first step and try to do something different and be alert or receptive to new ideas. And act on the alternatives that will be presented to you. Okay. Let's move right along the scene. and just look at a few challenges or the challenges, you know, as that might exist in your relationship. And we have the tower card that falls here. So with the tower, it's, it's kind of associated with Mars. So it's a god of war. So this card indicates, you know, Pisces surprise and disruption to the stability Stability that has kind of been building thus far. So if you are not currently in a relationship, Pisces, this card may indicate a sudden change of that status. You know, this card is a necessary card in that all healthy relationships to revive and spice up what could otherwise really stagnate and really become boring. You know, it may also indicate a need for you to kind of introduce new things into your relationship. OK, thus I'm feeling the challenge of your current situation is really to kind of recover whatever has been left by the recent changes, you know, because there will be some parts of your life that has weathered the storm better than others, you know. And I'm feeling that although it has been a testing time, you can certainly rebuild with stronger stones as your foundation. OK, because the flow of the next few months, is, it appears as one of sudden changes for you. And in the next few months. Things that have been built up and, you know, up will kind of come to a sudden head, you know, and this may be very disruptive. However, you're going to you may find that it clears the air air and kind of allows a new beginning for you. So this card is really kind of telling you to be prepared to kind of spend time picking up the pieces and you really should set your sights on really communicating Pisces clearly all you have, you know, have planned and you should not be arrogant and. Uh, think that you can do things by yourself because others can certainly help you build something longer lasting and more stable, you know, than you could alone. 
this card is kind of asking you to keep within your resources and do not plan to, you know, plan so ambitiously because the resources you can draw upon include Pisces, you know, your ability to kind of take action when action is required, really no matter the consequences. You know, I'm feeling that you can soon topple those who it, whose ideas are not stable or long lasting, but I feel that you may have to kind of shatter you know, some illusions that your ability to kind of see what is fixed and right will kind of see you through, I'm feeling. So in short, Pisces, this card says that, you know, more disruption, misfortune, or bitter experiences perhaps lie ahead. And even your home life is going to be affected. But you remember, you must remember, Pisces, that you're not really seeing the whole picture. And what looks absolute or hopeless is certainly not final. So I'm feeling that, Pisces, with this card, you know, what is right, essential, or meaningful is going to be preserved. Because now it's time to kind of discern what is meaningful, you know, and remain calm, this card is saying, to, you know, in the face of unexpected changes or assaults, and kind of listen, Pisces, to the inner voice that kind of assures you that everything really is going to be all right. So let's move right along and look at you know, the likely outcome, okay? We have the three of reals here. So Mars is in Capricorn with this card. So, you know, this card is saying that you're going to feel uplifted, you know, renewed and in a social mood. And you're also are going to be in a process of really embarking on a new business venture and really considering activities with an eye toward the future. I'm feeling that you're certainly going to make arrangements to talk with this past lover or to meet with him or her again and to perhaps discuss possible living arrangements or discuss plans for your future, okay? Now, just to give you some, a bit of part and advice for those, I just, you know, added up the numbers here and your numerical theme in your reading is, um, it's seven. So, Pisces, when you have a numerical theme of that nature, the seven is certainly the number of the mystics mystic or of the wise one who kind of respects the spirit rather than the, the letter of tradition. So as an overall number, Pisces, it says that you must kind of listen to your dream for the answers to an everyday dilemma or to the dilemma that you've been kind of going through because it seems that your dreams have been trying to get at you lately, you know, and um, just to kind of equate this to the tarot, you, you know, the number seven equates back to the chariot here. So you know, the chariot, you know, as the quintessence is kind of there for suggesting to you as conclusive advice in this case is really not to kind of hesitate any longer. Instead, start out immediately. Take the matter into your own hands, Pisces, and make things happen. You know, try to look to your inner world and change the way that you react to events. And guess what? Choose to be happy. Because when you let go of fear or doubt, success is certainly going to come. So I wanted to also pull another card, or I actually did pull another card from the Doreen Virtual's Romance Angels deck. And the card that I pulled out for you guys was Past Life Relationship. So this card is saying that you, you know, you pretty much, you've known your lover in a past type. This is a karmic type, you know, relationship. And this card is kind of saying that you have some unfinished business in conjunction with this person that is a soulmate to you, you know, from a past uh, past life. And this might include Pisces, you know, forgiving the person or maybe learning a personal lesson, you know, or just learning how to really develop patience for one another. OK. So. Whether or not, you know, I'm kind of feeling that whether or not you are a soulmate, you know, whether this person becomes actually your life partner, this card is suggesting that you're going to certainly experience personal and a lot of spiritual lessons from this person, you know, and it's going to help you uncover the answers or to resolve some, you know, past issues that you've been kind of going through. So Pisces, this is what I have for you this morning. I certainly hope that, um, this reading has offered food for thought for you. And as always, I look forward to hearing your comments. And for those of you Pisces who have yet to subscribe to my channel, please take a moment to do so now. Um, and for any of you who would like a more personal like reading, you can certainly send me an over an email to wat61073 at gmail.com. I look forward to hearing your comments. Enjoy your day. Thank you.